Auntie. Hey, I'm Chris. Hey, I'm Chris. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Aquarius, Summer Rising Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. I pray y'all are having a beautiful and blessed day. I'm just making sure. And I pray y'all are having a beautiful and blessed week. May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, and keep you safe all days, always. And I'm sending you so much peace, love, and healing energy, Aquarius. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. Okay, what's the messages today for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? Aquarius, I don't know if it's a Mercury retrograde. I feel like we just got out of one. Um, so things could have happened not so good around the retrograde. <laughs> y'all, what's going on? Something happened around the retrograde for y'all, and it may not have been the best I'm seeing here. So look up when those dates were. Rocky even posted. We could be getting ready to go into a new retrograde, though. Okay, I don't know when the new retrograde is. I, I may need to find that out. But we could be getting ready to embrace a new retrograde. Be mindful of things being topsy-turvy around that time. Okay, yeah, this could have to do with the gold digger. Okay, somebody here wants you for your money. They want you for the things that you could do for them, not for real love. So be mindful of that as well. This person could be trying to come back into your energy. I'm seeing here, yeah, there's communication coming your way. Somebody here wants to compromise with you. They want you to forgive them. They want you to work it out with them. They want to take you out on a date, I'm seeing here. But this is someone that you need to let go of so that your manifestations can come towards you. It's time for you to make room for a new beginning because it's on the way. But it, it, it's, it's something about your manifestations. It's like you can't you can't have your cake and eat it too. Either you're going to close the door in the past and embrace the new beginning and embrace change, or you're going to stay in the past and make it work with that. It's, it's one or the other. So it's what do you want, Aquarius? What are you trying to manifest? What are you trying to bring towards you? Yeah, it's talking about you, Aquarius. Someone here, you could be, you know, wanting to hold on to an individual because the sex is good, the intimacy is good, sexual chemistry is good. This this person is going to be back because they feel the same way. Someone's going to want to connect with you in that type of way. This could be a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Yeah, I see that as well. Yeah, give it time. Someone here could be wanting you to give it time. Or you're being led to give things time. Let things flow in divine timing, I'm seeing here. Let things flow. Last card for Aquarius. Yeah, I'm seeing here. Open your heart. Open your heart to love so that that energy can flow towards you. You could be blocking off love at this time, but it's something to do with your manifestations. You can't manifest. You, you know, the only way to bring something into fruition is to manifest through your heart space. It has to be connected to love. It has to be connected. Three to one in a time, as I said this. If it's not, it's not going to manifest into fruition. You're not going to get what you truly want. You'll get half ass, so you'll get something that doesn't align with you because it wasn't coming from a true place of love. Yeah, you have fortune that's coming in. Great fortune, Aquarius. Literally. Damn, Aquarius. All right, now. Stop playing. So I'm talking to somebody. Y'all manifesting money. Y'all manifesting wealth. Y'all want money. Y'all want riches. Y'all want that bag, okay? Literally, sudden wealth. Y'all about to hit some type of jackpot. Y'all got sudden wealth that's coming your way. And this is a lot of money coming in. It's like God is about to overflow you. It's, this is going to be an overflow of money, abundance, wealth. I'm seeing here this great fortune that's coming your way. This was the first car out, yo. Like, <laughs> There's money. There's wealth that's coming in. You guys could be getting public recognition, praise. People could be looking up to you for something that you are due, or you are shining bright. You're shining. You're shining. Okay, you guys are able to buy things that you want as well. It's like you're taking care of house and home. Y'all can afford it. Y'all got it. This Y'all got it. This could be, listen, the saying your taxes coming in for someone here, this could be, you know, a business plan, some type of venture that you could have embarked on that's going to bring in wealth to you. 
Someone here can be in bad health over this too. A main female, somebody here is in bad health because you're, yeah, you're on the up and up. You're going to have to sign some type of papers as well for this. For someone here, you could be getting money from the court, from a court situation, from a courthouse. Some type of court situation could be coming back towards you or you could be dealing with a court situation and it has to, it's connected to your money. I'm saying here, you could also be, there's a lover. You could have filed paperwork on this lover or there's some type of lover that wants to go to the courthouse. Somebody could be wanting to get married to you at this time as well. Yeah, they're in some type of concern because you're you're getting, yeah, you're, you're gaining your justice at this time, adjudication. Things are working out for you and your highest good, empress, mature woman. You could be a mature woman or a mature man at this time. What's this courthouse about? But somebody here, yeah, there's a, well, yeah, you're about to be this wealthy individual. Something to do with the court. You. Male or female, wealthy man, mature woman, empress, you, you're, you listen, you about to be, if you are a woman, you have men that respect you that are about to be like, yo, dang, this woman put it where you, okay. Oh man. Oh man. If you are a woman, you intimidate men and women. Okay. Like, I, I don't know if that's, you intimidate both genders, both sexes. Number 11 can be significant. Number 26. The number 23, the number 13, the number 6 could be significant. June could be significant. April, May, August, and February could be significant. Any of those months could be significant to you. You intimidate people. You are a man. You got that bag. You're very wealthy and people know it. The people that you put things to rest with are in regret because they realize that you are this wealthy individual, this king of pentacles, empress. Oh, my gosh. I cannot make it up. Look. <laughs> look. Look. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You got people in sadness and regret. The people that you put things to rest with, the four swords, because you this big boss. You big, you big, you big boss. Okay, you you got that big bag, you big boss. I don't know if that's a song. I'm hearing a song. It's a it's a trash song too. I don't know the name of it, y'all. <laughs> but in the in the beginning of the song, I don't know if they say big boss, big. I don't know what they. I don't know. I can't. It's on the. I can't. I'm hearing it. It's it's fading away though. Y'all got, y'all are a big boss. Y'all got that big bag. Yo, y'all could be talking on the phone. It could be, <laughs> y'all talking in spirit like, yo, what up? <laughs> you are, you are an empress right behind the king. But you're an empress. I'm talking to, I could be speaking to a man. You could be, you could have earth in your birth chart. You could have Libra, you could have Taurus. All right. You could have Scorpio. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio with this Five of Cups, Libra, Taurus with this Empress. You could have any of these signs in your birth chart. If you are a man, you are very, very feared in different ways. You are in high ranking. You have a high ranking position in society. You could be someone that is very wealthy. People know you are no nonsense. You could be a business owner. You could run businesses. You not only nurture yourself, but you are a true provider. People know that when they come to you, they get, they gain. Not only true advice, but knowledge from you. Knowledge is power. Someone here knows that you are very fierce. You have a lot of wealth, a lot of stature, a lot of certifications, a lot of achievements under your belt. And if you are a woman, you got men intimidated. You are got you got that big bag. You got a bag like a whole. You, yo, you got an empire. You got a wealthy business that you are running. You're very financially stable. You're very blessed. If you were a woman, you could be coming across as that masculine energy. You could be, uh, let me let me rephrase that. Not coming across as masculine energy, but coming across as someone who people thought was a man, but is a woman. It's like you could be in a place in, of power, or you could do something where people feel like it's a masculine job or position, or you could just be a boss, and you could be wealthy. Like you have businesses underneath your belt. You have wealth underneath your belt. Your bank account is sitting up pretty. Like, I don't know who I'm talking to, but you are. Listen, with the with the, with the fool. Y'all take those risks and those leap of faith and they lead to wealth. I'm speaking to somebody who's wealthy. Look at all this prosperity and blessings, monetary gain, material prosperity around you. You may dress very nice. You could have a nice car, a nice home, different properties. 
different businesses. I'm thinking of somebody who is like, what you touch turns to gold. It multiplies. You don't just sit on one type of thing. You, uh, you're the type of person where it's like, where people see you at now, you're not going to be in the same place three, six months from now. You don't waste time. You damn sure don't waste energy or your resources or your money. Like you, I'm speaking to somebody who's a boss. All right, Aquarius. Like for real, for real. Yeah, somebody here. And you get to step in when you feel like people are wasting your time. You could have been dealing with an earth sign. You reject them. You reject people. Somebody here felt like they took their time in regards to you. They were dragging their feet really slow with a short ass leg. Somebody here got short legs. <laughs> Somebody here got like, I don't know, they could be short. I don't know. Somebody here could be could be short or small or they feel small at this time <laughs> in regards to you. Somebody here feels small. Yo, somebody here, that is so random. Somebody here is also being rejected sexually. The four of cups of the nine of pentacles, they could be impotent. I don't know why I'm picking up that energy. Random. Someone here, yeah, they could be like trying to speak with people and they're getting rejected. They're impotent. Somebody here is small. Or they could have something that is making them like not able to work, function. The, the Knight of Pentacles, this could be an earth sign with the Four of Cups being here. You could have rejected this individual because they were giving you such date. They weren't offering you big offers. They were wasting wasting your time. Literally with the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is the only knight in the deck that can mature into the King of Pentacles. But the thing about the Knight of Pentacles is that they could take years, months, even a whole lifetime to get there. They they take their they slow like molasses. Don't don't think this person is gonna rush. This this embodies Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody like drags their feet. They don't really want to do it. They're very lazy. There we go. I couldn't think of the word lazy energy. Okay, literally, yeah, you ghosted this person. This could have happened in the past, the hermit, or somebody is ashamed of this. The hermit could be a Virgo. They could be going through a dark night of the soul at this time. You may not be speaking to this person. It could be no communication. Yeah, because you guys are focused on the money. You guys, you guys are focused on yourselves. The king of Pentacles and Empress. If you're a male, People know they, that you got that bag. You're wealthy. You dress in a certain type of way. You carry yourself in a certain type of way. You're very loyal. You're very faithful. You're very honest. You take care of house and home. 1221 on the timer, as I said, this, you got hygiene up. Like, you wash yourself. People know. Like, you clean yourself. You're not one of those men that don't shower every day. Like, that's disgusting. Like, you, you take care of yourself. And as for a woman, you, are, you really take care of yourself in a way where you work like a man like you could have that drive that charisma you could be like full throttle and boss mode energy to the point where you could rock with the big dogs like your, your bank account is sitting up there you live a very rich wealthy lifestyle you're able to afford what you want you could do what you want you could buy what you could go where you want okay the empress you're not ruled by nobody okay you listen to father god you listen to your intuition you listen to your discernment and it brings you all the way through with the king of pentacles and the empress you can even be mindful because you can have people that could be wanting to get you pregnant you could be fertile you could give up that mommy energy or that daddy energy i'm seeing here too with the king of pentacles and the empress somebody here is looking at you as someone who's a good provider or who will take care of them take care of self yeah the page of pentacles is here. There's people that are watching you, but these are pages. What's a page to a king? What's a page to an empress? Somebody here wants to talk to you. Okay, it's a, it's a page. Page of wands. I'm sorry, page of swords. And the page of pentacles, it could be two people. It could be, these people could be younger than you. If not younger than you, then they're very nosy. One is nosy with the page of swords. They want to know what you have going on. And the other one is wanting to offer you something, but it's very minimal. It's very small. What's this page of pentacles? Yeah, they're in hopes that, that you will date them or that you will pursue them. I'm seeing here, this could be a Virgo. Somebody is trying to manifest you. They feel like you are so attractive. With the queen, with the queen of wands, you could be very, very, very attractive or very confident. It's like you know yourself. With this queen of wands energy, the king of wands. Somebody here is looking at you like you are, either you have that balance of masculine and feminine energy, or they're looking at you as someone who they are highly attracted too okay and their hopes that you will be highly attracted to them somebody views you as a counterpart to them as a soulmate energy what's the magician they're trying to manifest you look the, this could also be a cancer somebody's doing moon magic be mindful of that the magician and the moon 
and the page of pentacles oh shit. they could have paid somebody they could have paid a guru i'm seeing it with the hermit somebody here could have went to someone a spiritualist okay someone that may do dark magic with the hermit and the be mindful of that somebody here went to someone to pay for some type of work to be done the page of pentacles the magician and the moon around the new moon or the full moon they work around the moon somebody could do this they may work around the moon cycles. Be mindful of this. This is someone that's in a place of lack. They're desperate. Could be an earth sign or a cancer. Somebody is extremely desperate. Could even be a Scorpio with this moon card. But somebody is desperate. Very, very desperate and broke. They're in a place of lack. Financially broke. Emotionally broke. They're spiritually broke. And as above, so below. They can't manifest. They can't receive nothing. Five of pentacles. Yeah, you may have seen right through this person. Whoever this energy is, this is someone that wants to stay hidden in the dark. They don't want people to know. This is someone that does, also doesn't want people to know that they're into spirituality or that they do this. With the Page of Swords, this is someone that's trying to call you towards them. I cannot make it up. Be mindful, y'all. This is an emperor in the reverse. This could be an Aries or a Taurus, and I don't even want to take it this way. But this, tell me about this emperor. This is someone that wants success with you by any means necessary with the Six of Wands. And they are they they, they going to do anything and everything to do it. With the Emperor, this is someone that don't have no, they don't draw the line. Like, okay, this is too far. This could be a father figure. This could be someone you have child a child with or a family with. This could just be someone that overdoes their control, their dominance. They could be a tyrant. They could be a leader. They could be someone that abuses people. They abuse their, their staff. They abuse people that are underneath them. They lie, they cheat, they take, they manipulate, they do whatever. They throw people under the bus. This is someone that wants to get ahead by any means necessary. They want control. They want people to bow down to them. The emperor in the reverse is someone that lacks self-discipline. They're a hoe. They're very promiscuous. They're an unfit father, unfit parent, male or female, whoever this is. Somebody here doesn't even take care of their children. This is someone here that doesn't take good hygiene. They don't have good hygiene. They lack self-love. They lack self-esteem. They lack self-confidence. They lack a spiritual connection with above the emperor and the reverse is someone that you don't need to you want to stay away from them okay literally somebody here is so obsessed with having success or attention it got them stressed out willing to somebody here gives up their morals like they they go against their morals their values their beliefs to get their way for attention the six of wands somebody here wants success they want to be recognized they want to be praised what's this emperor yeah, this person's under judgment at this time. Yeah, somebody here is reflecting over the past or this could have happened in the past. Somebody here is going through judgment. Okay, you could have picked up on this energy intuitively with the high priestess or your intuition was, wasn't lying to you. It was always telling you the truth about things. What's this moon about? Somebody here, yeah, they're hiding. They're literally hiding the fact that they had to leave something behind. The eight of cups and the two of wands. Somebody has to walk away from a situation. They are being forced to walk away and go in a, and go in a new direction. I'm seeing here, yeah, this is the truth. Somebody here is being forced. They're being forced. Like, I don't know if spirit is giving this person an ass whooping that they, they listen, they're being forced to abandon ship, yo. Abandon ship and go in a new direction with the three of wands. Which is why they could be trying to mess. They're trying to call you towards them. Somebody is trying to manifest you. They feel like they can't reach out to you directly, but they feel like if you come to them, that gives them the leeway to like enter into your life again. Be mindful of that because this person's going through karma. Well, your karma is to receive your blessings, especially financially with that King of Pentacles and that Justice card. This person could have put you through some type of legal matter. Oh, hell no. Somebody here is trying to manifest you to be the empress in the reverse. You could have most definitely been dealing with, there could have been a karmic partner here as well, like a karmic relationship here. What is this? You need to block this person with the seven of wands. What's the, why is the empress in the reverse? Somebody here is karmic. There's a karmic, there's a karmic relationship here. Yeah, the ten of cups. That's the truth. Somebody here is like, okay, there could be someone here, Aquarius. Like they could have, they could have teamed up with someone, a karmic woman. This could be a Libra, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Somebody is hateful. They're jealous. They're revengeful. They're bitter. They're unhealed. This is an unfit mother. This is someone that's promiscuous. They even sleep around for money. 
This is someone that was trying to create a happy home or they wanted a happy unit with the Ten of Cups, but something was revealed about this. Okay, yeah. So they even could have gotten somebody pregnant with the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Somebody here could have got somebody here could have abandoned someone while they were pregnant. This Ace of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Oh my gosh. Like, what is going on here? Yeah, the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands. And it's like you're out here shining because I'm picking up on this is someone different. You show yourself as the upright, but in this spread, somebody here is karmic. This is this could be a karmic marriage or a karmic two karmic individuals, okay? Literally that are together, that are that are both working out of a very demented and distorted energy, the emperor and the empress. Oh my gosh, these people could want to stay hidden because it fell right on top of the the hermit card. What's the queen of wands about? Yeah, somebody here is really determined to get you to give to them. Somebody here could be, so, okay, I'm just understanding. This person could have went towards someone that they know was less than you. And it was to attack your confidence, your self-esteem, how you view yourself. Somebody here wanted you to feel very belittled. They wanted you to feel very small because you could have made them feel very small, Aquarius. Somebody here was really just trying, yeah, this person because it could have been giving to you and someone else in hopes that it would like diminish your, your confidence, your self-esteem, burden you. They were really determined to get you to surrender because they felt like you were looking at yourself as too high and mighty. With the chariot, you move forward. Cancer energy, and you did so very, very quickly. Yeah, because somebody here was all just about in and out energy. They just wanted to come in for a good time to see if they can conquer you and betray you, hurt you, ten of swords. This was all to betray you. Somebody here was, was is actually with someone already, the empress and the emperor. We see people that have kids with the ten of cups. Or they're trying to they're trying to create a happy unit. Somebody here could have went towards this empress in the reverse, trying to create a happy unit, and they also could have conceived by this person. Like somebody here could have gotten pregnant in secret. This could have been like a a hidden pregnancy with the moon and the ace of cups that they wanted to hide from you. Somebody here also could have had a miscarriage with the empress in the reverse. Okay, that's for someone here as well. They could have gotten this person pregnant, and either they could have had an abortion or they could have miscarried with the empress coming out in the reverse. Okay, but somebody here did not want you to know that they got this, they got somebody pregnant. Somebody here also could have done spell work to get pregnant by this emperor in the reverse. This person views you as their counterpart with the queen of wands and the king of wands wanting to show itself, but this is not someone that, yeah, somebody here wants to reconcile with you, but it's only because of how, of who you are embodying at this time. Being able to take care of self, this wife, this father figure, being able, like this, and even if you don't have children, you're just embodying a very strong and structured energy I'm seeing here. And you're confident, you look good, you're very attractive, and your money is up. Like somebody here wants to stop that. They want to delay it. They want to block it. Okay, because their life is going to shit. Like somebody here, they're literally, they're so confused as to why things are ending and happening in their life. Somebody here literally is because of the beginning, whatever action that they took, the Ace of Wands, somebody here took action, whatever action that this emperor or empress took against you or to try to hurt you or to try to affect your self-esteem, not only are you getting good karma with the, the Libra in the upright, the Libra, the justice card in the upright, Libra energy, but it's like their life is going to havoc, the Seven of Cups, somebody's confused as to how to get out of this tower. Okay, things are ending very rapidly with the death card. It's a lot of destruction for this person or for these people, okay, literally. And you're about to reap your harvest, Aquarius. Literally, this is your energy with the fool. You're taking a leap of faith towards everything that you want plus more. Just keep moving forward. So if you guys, if your intuition could have been telling you that you have two people up against you, you most definitely do. You have two very distorted, evil, wicked this could be a mad people that are married. These could be a baby mama and a baby father that's together. This could be just two people that teamed up with the emperor and the emperor. These people are usually in a committed relationship. They both are wicked. And if they all they do is fight, it's nothing but turmoil, drama, discord, endings, trauma. Like, yeah, you you needed to walk away with the eight of cups. This did not align with you. Somebody here, yeah. So that you can meet people that actually want to genuinely give you real love. Because that, mm -mm. Mm -mm. the 
Empress in the reverse gives me so much disgusting energy. It, it's just, it's repulsive. Yeah, somebody here. There was a, there was a definitely a faded event with this individual that has this BDE energy. There was a faded event that took place with them. I'm seeing here, or something was faded to take place with them. The letter R could be significant as well. First, middle, or last initial. This person's trying to make it hard for you to move on from them. Somebody here could literally be in a relationship with someone and they're trying to make it hard for you to move on. Yeah, over the weekend, you could have won something or you're about to win something this weekend. I'm seeing, kidding. You just this could be you also getting good news about a new house, a new car, traveling, a new career, new job, new money, or you needing new love, I'm seeing here. Yeah, new love is coming in. Get ready for love. Okay, something could have happened on Monday. Something could also be happening today, I'm seeing here. Anything else for Aquarius? Yeah, there's a jealous karmic of you. You can expect communication in one week. Somebody here could be reaching out to you, a karmic individual. Okay, or someone here that could be acting like they left a karmic, that queen, that empress in the reverse. They, yeah, your MX. MX could be significant. The letter M or the letter X. So this could be your X. Somebody here could be acting like they left somebody and they have not. They're still very much with that individual. The letter S could be significant. Somebody is, ooh, they, mm, it's like Chucky and Chucky's bride. Look out, the bride of Chucky, whatever their name is. That's what that is right there. Yeah, you're on different pages with this individual I'm seeing here. Yeah, you have a happy home, Aquarius. This is what you are creating at this time. Okay, and it's because you have good karma. I'm also seeing here, yeah, something could have happened in the summer. Somebody's name could be summer. Libra energy popped out. You are everything to this person. Okay, something could be happening in 48 hours. Somebody here is like, you're everything to me. They could have also listened to their brother and wanted to come out in the reverse. You're about to create a his and hers empire with someone. I'm seeing here, yeah, all blockages have been removed for you, Aquarius. Okay, and something could be happening in the springtime. Anything else for Aquarius? Anything else for Aquarius? That jail time wanted to pop out. Somebody here could be going to jail. I'm seeing here, yeah, somebody tried to do sex magic on you. The letter W could be significant. It could be a Pisces. Yeah, return. Yes, they tried to do this, but it was return to sender times 10. I'm seeing here somebody could have Scorpio on their birth chart. This could have been a Scorpio. I'm seeing here to you. Yeah, manipulative energy. Somebody tried to manipulate you. Okay, I'm seeing here children are a fact that this person could have children, but you are God's warrior. I'm seeing here. Anything else? Yeah, this person is not single. They're not. Somebody here is committed to someone. They could have tattoos. 222 two, two could be significant as well. You have new beginnings, the power to manifest with the universe. It's time for you to go with the flow of love. This was a group effort to try to do this to you as well, Aquarius. So be mindful of that. Somebody here could have had to team up with a whole bunch of people to see how they could take you down, how to try to affect your confidence, how to make you feel less than because they feel small. Somebody here also uses like a woman or vice versa. A woman could use a man as a bulldog type of energy. They could have a very distorted way of love, but they could view this person like if they let this person out or whoever they're talking to. So somebody here could like be open to third parties. They could let this person attack that third party or attack the person that they're talking to. And if that person stays around, that's how they know this person loves them. Okay. It, it's very distorted. That's, somebody here has a very distorted way of viewing things yeah i see here some good issues about to happen aquarius don't let your issues f it up something good is getting ready to happen for you i kind of want to leave it at that yeah and don't believe every shitty thought that you have aquarius okay thoughts can be sneaky lying b words so let let it go think positive because your thoughts are manifesting i hope this resonated with you may peace and blessings be to you always aquarius and i will be seeing you on the next video